Welcome to Apple TV in the Classroom with Mike Padilla. Thanks for watching. Before we get started, there's a few things we need. Obviously, an Apple TV, an HDMI cable, a projector with HDMI input, and speakers, which are optional but useful. The back of the Apple TV comes with an HDMI output, a power cable, and also an option for optical audio, which is not necessary but can help. To connect it to the projector, all you need to do is connect the HDMI input. To get better sound from the projector, I would get some external computer speakers. However, don't forget with any speakers, you'll also have to plug them in to some power. Once you're all connected, all you need is your trusty Apple TV remote and press menu to turn on the Apple TV. And then you'll see the Apple TV on the screen. You have a whole bunch of apps, some of which can be very useful, but most of which I never use. So now you have your iPad. Keep in mind it's vital that both the iPad and Apple TV are connected to the same wireless network. Now you just swipe up from the bottom of your iPad and select the AirPlay feature from the menu. When you select that, look for the appropriate Apple TV. Mine is marked TV Signs for my room. Select it then choose Mirroring to mirror your iPad to the projector screen. Once you select that, after a few seconds, the image on the iPad should appear on the screen. What I love about this is that the iPad is so mobile, you could pass it around to students, you could walk around with it, whereas the desktop is stationary, students have to walk up to that computer, and in my case, the computer is in a completely separate room. Also one thing that's pretty awesome is the iPad, Apple TV, and projector cost under $1,500, whereas a smart board costs upwards of $3,000. And despite those kids looking so excited in front of that smart board, this often isn't the case. Another great thing about this is that the nearly 500,000 apps on the iPad can be mirrored onto the screen, so I can imagine what other teachers may want to do with this. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed.